What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Highlander here and welcome to our very first episode of our Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock. Guys, today we are starting the episode on the very first day of the new year. So what better time to start an LP than the very first day of the new year? I don't know. You tell me. Tell me when a better day is. Anyway, we uh, set up a video a couple days ago, <laughs> a couple days, more like a week ago, where I was like, send me eggs. Just, just send me all the eggs. And you guys pulled through. You guys definitely pulled through. We have about about two boxes full of eggs, which is fantastic. Um, and I'm really excited to go ahead and start hatching these and start playing the game. Now, in case you guys don't know what an egg lock is, the rules will be in the description below. But also because of the nature of an egg lock, we cannot start from the beginning of the game. So what I did was I started up the save file and I made our way or picked our starter and then made our way to the first Pokemon Center where the PC is available. I have input all the eggs that you guys have given me into the PC. So those will be uh, those are available right now. Um, and we're going to be hatching one in just a second. But essentially, you have to start the game here. I could have recorded beforehand and then like cut the episode and then done all the stuff and then re-recorded it again. But that, that was a little bit of a pain and didn't want to do that. So this was easier. Just take my word for it. Um, but also, I just want to give a huge, huge shout out. I know this long intro is long. Um, to my friend on Twitter, Less Is More, for this fantastic layout. I absolutely adore it. It is amazing. And if you guys ever need any commission work done, please contact this man. He deserves so much more recognition for his work because he's amazing. So... I think I've covered all of, all of our bases. Um, last thing I want to go over is you guys are still more than welcome to send me eggs. Uh, keep sending me eggs uh, throughout the, the nuts lock or the egg lock. And if we get to a point where I kind of have to be like, all right, we got to stop sending eggs, we'll do so. But for now, feel free to send in as many. Keep sending in eggs if you guys want. And uh, I'll go ahead and put them into the game. I'll, and I'll check on my email every time before we start a new episode. And if there are new eggs, I'll input them into the game. And we'll continue from there. Um... So, <laughs> wow, that's a long intro. Um, <clears throat> this, oh, excuse me. My, my voice just cracked. Also, my voice is uh, kind of leaving me. Everyone's been sick in my family, except for me, so I guess it's my turn soon. Um, this, uh, this egg lock has been in the works for a long time. I'm going to say that right now, because I've been wanting to do one since we finished Volt White 2, which was our first LP on our channel. Um, and this is now going to be our fourth LP. So I'm very excited to be jumping into this, and I'm so very excited that you guys pull, uh, had showed enough support to me to send me any eggs in the first place. Um, I was kind of worried that we weren't going to get a lot of eggs, but you guys pulled through, and I'm very, very excited. So <clears throat> without further ado, let's go ahead and start this. So we got our first starter. Oh, shoot. I haven't gotten any rare candies. I'll be right back. And we're back. Sorry. Uh, I took a little bit of uh, working around and editing. Um, I forgot to input all of our rare candies into the game and the reason I needed rare candies is because whenever you hatch an egg you level the Pokemon up to the Pokemon that you caught in the wild so they're equal levels if that makes sense uh, the rules will be more explained in the description below uh, but without further ado let's go ahead and jump in and pick our first egg so what I have is this online dice um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the dice we're gonna pick a row and then we're gonna pick a um, Section like a row and then a, a, a column row and column. I think that's how it works. I don't know um, I'm gonna try to get an actual dice later, but I don't have one on me right now So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the first one or this uh, online one. So uh, Let's go ahead and jump into our box one So we got all of these. <laughs> oh my goodness my voice. We got all of these Pokemon Here in the first box and some of them as you can see do have some Japanese names unfortunately um, or the names weren't like you didn't click the nickname uh, box uh, button next to the box or something like that um, I don't really know the reason for that But they are there so unfortunately if you do get one of these eggs, I'm gonna have to name it myself um, Which really sucks because I do really like it that you guys have named all of these mons um, So we got box one and we got box two here now remember you guys can send in um, More uh, more eggs do not be afraid to send in more eggs so um, just making sure that we got everything in here. All right, cool. So, first up, let's roll our dice. So we're going to be in row two. Yes, two. 
So right here. And egg six. Row two, egg six, which happens to be a Japanese one. Let's not do a Japanese one off of the start. Um, no, no, stop that. Stop it, game. We're trying to pick an egg here. All right, <laughs> let's re-roll. Uh, roll again. We got six, so very bottom, and four. So one, two, three, or five. I guess we only we can only go to five. So let's go to five. Um, four. One, two, three, four. Useless. Useless. Dot. 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 All right. That sounds exciting. <laughs> oh man. Can't wait to see what this is going to be. Um, and for the record, oh, it's hatching. For the record, before we start this, I know that I said something about shininess on our video. Um, I realized afterwards that no matter what you did, it's not going to be shiny just because how shinies works in this game. So if you did send in a shiny, I'll just go edit it after the episode to be shiny in the next one. So that's just what's going to have to happen. So our first egg that we're hatching is going to be... Oh no! Magical. <laughs> um. All right, we're gonna have to name you useless. Um, I don't really know how we're gonna use this. Useless. When does Magikarp learn tackle? <laughs> that is the question. Oh no, bounce. So we can't, we, we can uh, make this work. <laughs> Adamant nature, um, bounce, swift swim. All right, cool. All right, we're starting off <laughs> with useless the magic harp. Um, we're gonna have to go ahead and rare candy this thing up to level five. So one, two, three, four. And how many PP does bounce have? Five. Oh, this is so not good. This is like the worst way to start off an egg lock. <laughs> um, but that's what we're gonna have to do. So, um, let's go ahead and place our Cyndaquil back into the box, because that's what you do with the uh, Pokemon after you have hatched it. Is you place it into the empty slot where the Pokemon was. <clears throat> Alright, so we got Useless the Magikarp. Alright, Useless. <laughs> You're coming with me. And uh, because you guys, it was shiny as you saw as we hatched, or as it was hatched, but it wasn't as soon as we started the game. So, um, once I finish this episode, I'll go ahead and edit it so it is shiny in the next episode. Um, but uh, before we move on, uh, in this town we showed up, I was actually received an old rod, and I got... Game Boy Sounds, Running Shoes, and all of my, like, bottom screen items. Um, because this is Sacred Gold, it is a hack, it's going to be different. Oh? <clears throat> the old man wants to come talk to me again. <laughs> I made it. I forgot about one thing. This is another token from me. Take it. The guy can't load the map card into Will's Boca Gear. Well, thank you. Thank you for the map card. Select the Pokegear and touch this uh, on the touch screen and then select the town icon map. You'll see the map of the region you're currently in. Pokegear becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. Thank you. All right, Route 30. I'm afraid of even trying to like level this thing. I really am. <laughs> because I'm afraid that Useless is going to get one shot by like, um, like a razor leaf or something. Does Caterpie use? Did Caterpie just use Snore? Bug bites. Okay. How much is this gonna do? Oh, just about four. Okay, we can do that. We only got three more bounces left, but we can do this, right? Three more bounces. The bounce gonna hit on the Caterpie. Um, shoot. I really hope Dreano added some more moves for Magikarp, because otherwise I'm in trouble. I'm really gonna be in trouble. All right, so we're gonna pick up this item here. It is a potion. We need to buy ethers. Like a crap ton of ethers. Oh, you're wearing the running shoes. They make you feel like you're flying, don't they? But be aware of wild Pokemon and trainers. When you run, the noise will attract them. Um, let's actually just enable running shoes. 
completely. Um, that is one of those things that I really wish would come back in some other game, uh, some of the DS games. Hey, kiddo! How in the world could you be so oblivious to my eye-catching house? Hold it right there! Alright, Apricorn man. Apricot? Apricorn? I don't know. When you're following that path up north, you will see Mr. Pokemon's house. But before you go, let me finish what I have to say. Do you have any Apricorns? Apricorn trees bear fruits, bear fruit once a day. I have one of these trees too. Apricorns are really something. You can make Pokeballs and other things. They are quite useful. I have a feeling this was meant to be because I have something for you. The Apricorn box. Sweet. So I guess we can go ahead and pick up all these Apricorns. We might as well, right? Just rub that tree. Get it to spit out that green Apricorn. That's what we want. And by the way, uh, as you can see on the layout, the question of the day is how freaking excited how freaking excited are you for this LP? Because I am pretty excited. Metapod! That's actually a really good experience for us if we can get, if we can kill this thing with bounce. Because it's gonna harden. Oh no. <laughs> oh please. Please let us kill this thing. With like. Was that a crit? It was a crit! Let's go! Useless! I don't care. Whoever said this in? Useless is not useless, alright? Alright? Useless is bomb. It's gonna be the best, Gyarados. The best. Alright, let's continue further up north. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I do have to mention though that the fact Oh, Cynthia? Oh, hello. Mr. Pokemon said he was expecting a young trainer to arrive. Is your name Will by any chance? I see. I guess you are the trainer Mr. Pokemon was expecting. My name is Cynthia. I'm a Pokemon trainer who hails from Sinnoh. Tell me, Will, have you heard of a story that tells of the tale of the legendary trainer? You haven't? I'll briefly explain. The story tells of the tale of how a trainer travels the lands of Johto and Kanto, catching all the Pokemon known to mankind. He captures the most basic of Pokemon, and even the most mythical of Pokemon too, uh, to eventually become face to face with the one who the Pokemon call God. The archaeology in the Johto region appears to the to back the existence of this story. It's interesting, to be sure. Thank you for listening to me, Will. You know, you remind me of a trainer I knew from Sinnoh. You may not know it yet, but I think you are capable of great things. In fact, I'd like to help you reach your maximum potential. Here, let me give you a small gift. So we get an Eevee. All right then. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and nickname uh, Eevee Token because, um, It'll be like an egg token you switch in, and so we get to hatch another egg before we even got Pokeballs. Because technically the Nuzlocke doesn't even start until we get Pokeballs, so... <laughs> this is exciting. The numerous possibilities of the evolution for Eevee make it a very interesting Pokemon. I wonder what you'll decide to evolve Eevee into. Perhaps we'll cross paths again, Will. But until then, farewell. That's so cool. Cynthia just randomly shows up. Um, let's go ahead and stroke this tree for the Apricorn. So we do have an Eevee now, um, so we'll make sure to hatch it once we get back to, uh... Wow, I cannot remember the name of the city. I can, wow, the, the, the city we were just at. <laughs> you must be Will! It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier! Are you gonna give me that egg so I can go back to Professor Elm? Please? This is what I want Professor Elm to examine! The mystery egg. Mr. Egg is gonna hatch into a Togepi, right? A friend of mine from Ecrity gave it to me. I bet you can't find this egg in jo uh, find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor L might be able to tell what it is. He's the best when it comes to research of Pokemon evolution. That's quite. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You're returning to Professor L? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Yes, I get my three bounces back. <laughs> Professor Oak. <clears throat> and with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So, you will. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were drawn around, you, I heard you were running an errand for Professor L, so I waited here. Mm, oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Professor Oak. Maybe you need to get your eyes examined. Magikarp is not rare, by any means. <laughs> I see, you must be helping Professor Elm research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah! Oh, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? 
See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records the data of Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like for you to have it. So we got our decks. That's sweet, I guess. <laughs> but I've stayed too long. I have to go get to, I had to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Well, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers just to be on the safe side. So we got Professor Oak's number. I'll have to take him out to dinner sometime. I mean, that's how it works. Wow, my throat is killing me. I needed to get grab like water or like cough drops or something. This is not good. Oh, we got a phone call. The phone is ringing. <laughs> Hello? Well, it's a disaster. It's uh, it's just terrible. What should I do? Oh, oh no! Please get back here now. All right. Well, Professor Elm seemed like he was quite in a pickle, so <laughs> we gotta hurry back. Um, but not before we hatch another egg, because I'm down to hatch more eggs every single day of the week. <coughs> Literally in the middle of the night too. You can be like, well, let's have some eggs. And I'm gonna be like, okay. Okay, let's do it. So we, uh, we are still only level five with our Magikarp, which is unfortunate. What level is Eevee? Also level five. Okay. Which means we do get to exchange for another egg. So let's go ahead and do move Pokemon. Uh, let's go into second box. So we only have four rows. Um, so we'll try to uh, keep that in mind. So first roll is six. We don't have six rolls to try again. Two. Two and four. So we go one, two. One, two, three, four. Thor. We got Thor with the Electro Electorizer. Hmm, I think I know what this is. I think I has an idea of what this might be. So we got Thor holding the Electrolyzer. Oh? What is our second egg going to be? An Elkid. I had a feeling because of the Electrolyzer. Uh, unfortunately, uh, items also do not go uh, transfer over, which is something that I think is really stupid. So uh, once, uh, once I end this episode, I'll go ahead and uh, put the Electrolyzer back onto Thor. I need a paper so I can remember to do all this stuff. Um, so uh, do, do not panic if your item is not there because it's just not going to be for some reason. Um, so I will do that after this episode. Thor was hit level two, level three, level four, and level five. Let's let's check you out, Thor. What you got? Brave nature with rolling kick, ice punch, fire punch, and cross chop. Hmm. I don't know if that is legit or not. Like, even in the hack. Rolling kick, ice punch, fire punch, and cross chop. It's a freaking bomb moveset, that's for sure. But I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to have to double check in the after this episode. Um, and if, if I forget, uh, you guys are more than welcome to let me know as well if you have the documentation for the for Sacred Gold. If these movesets are legit. Because uh, if they're not, please let me know so we can go ahead and... Um, not use the mon because we don't want to use moms with illegal movesets uh, even though this is a hack so we'll we'll keep thor for now but i will go ahead and check that after this episode so let's go ahead and head back to professor elm but i think we have a battle first there he is it's silver <clears throat> hi ho silver away <sighs> get away you got a pokemon at the lab what a waste that's a pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you don't you get what I'm saying? Huh, well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. He says that Magikarp is too good for me. That like kind of wounds my pride just a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, Passerby Boy, what you got? You got Totodile. Um, luckily for us, we have Useless, which does resist that water typing. So let's go ahead and with Bounce. Useless sprang up. How much is this going to do? Not much at all. But we do get the para. Yo. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I don't know if five bounces will take it out, though. Will five bounces be enough? Our Magikarp is really fast, though. Like, holy crap, Useless. You are, you are a speedy little devil. Okay. <laughs> You're doing okay for someone so weak. Thanks. I know I'm weak, but but I can try, right? Turtle is paralyzed and it cannot move. 
Useless is going to go ahead and use Bounce again. So one more Bounce should do it. So we only needed four out of the... Ooh, that is a lot of damage. That's spooky. All right. We need to hit this. <laughs> Otherwise, we're dead. All right. Useless is going to go ahead and take down the Totodile very easily. And I am very glad that you did that, Useless. I, 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 I'm, I'm going attached to Useless, man. With Bounce. We can do this. We can do this. Are you happy you won? Yes. Yes, I am. Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. What? What do you want? Give it back. That's my trainer card. Oh, no. You saw my name. So we ended up seeing uh, Silver's name. So we're going to go ahead and head back to Elm's lab because he's like, ah, Pokemon was stolen and it was Silver who stole the Pokemon. What a punk. What a freaking punk, man. We're almost back, though. Almost back. So let's head over here and into the lab we go. We need to get more bounces. We need to definitely heal up our magic card. <laughs> Uh, who are you? We are investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my, so you must be the one who did it? Maybe this is why, like, Team Rocket and, like, other thug organizations are just allowed to do whatever they want, because the police is trash. The police is literally trashed here. <laughs> Hold on a second! He has nothing to do with it. I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking into the building. Well, thank you, Lyra. <laughs> What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Um, it, his name is usually Silver. That's usually what I go with. But for the sake of the Egglock, I'm gonna name him Vivid. Vivid, you're my rival in this game. My, my very good friend Vivid uh, on, on the YouTubes. So Vivid is going to be our rival. So Vivid was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual. And Vivid, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to replicate your voice. So, I'm just going to go with the one I have. <clears throat> Will, I'm so glad they understand that you are innocent. See you later. Thanks. See you later. <laughs> Will, this is, this is terrible. Uh, yes, uh, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Well, it was a mystery egg. Um, and I like mine uh, over easy, please. Over some toast. Uh, uh, this is an egg, isn't it? Uh, this egg may be something I've never seen. It's, still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what secret it holds. I'll keep, I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. What? Professor Oak give you a Pokedex? Will, is this true? Th th that's incredible. He's superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Will, I knew you were a little different, but things are going to be a lot of fun. Your Pokemon seem to really like you, too. So why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League champion. Or not. <laughs> Becoming the champion is not at all easy, but you can certainly challenge Violet City's gym. Will, challenging the gym scattered around will be a long journey. Before you leave, make sure you talk to your mom. Alright. Because we don't want our mom storing our money. That's just not... Not something we want. She's gonna be like, I'll save your money and then buy polka dolls. I'm like, no. Okay, I'll help too. Um, I don't want you. No. Do not save money from me. Please. I guess I didn't really have to go back and talk to my mom, because I think this one you can just go ahead and run out and she'll be like Um She'll call you later. Oh no! <coughs> I don't want to learn how to catch them on. There you are! Will, you can catch a wild Pokemon with Pokeballs. Follow me. I know. I have two of them. I didn't catch them. I hatched them. Wow. This is exciting. Thrilling. Just like that. Huh? Was it too fast? I'll try again. Come this way. You know, I bet you know how already. I'll give you these. Good luck. Yes. Yes. Yes, Triano. You're so good. Oh, that's so amazing. See you. I, I've played this hack once before, but I didn't get very far. I don't remember much of it. So, our first encounter for this route is going to be... I forgot that this was an encounter. Uh, so, we got a Zigzagoon, level 3. We get to hatch that as well. 
Man, we hatching lots of eggs this first episode. Um, we don't want to go ahead and use bounce. We're gonna go ahead and th uh, send out Thor. 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 Uh, he was gonna use tackle. I prefer it if you didn't. Um, let's go with an ice punch. Will that kill? I don't think so. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, we'll throw a pokeball and. Ooh, the para! We got staticed. Nice. All right. Um, 15. We have 15 Pokeballs to start with. That is not a bad number at all. One, two, three. Hey! Zigzagoon was caught. Sorry if I just you heard me burp there. That was disgusting. I got I got my uh, conch Bulbasaur here. Uh, whenever I gotta make a big decision, I gotta talk to the Bulbasaur. I'll be like, what should I do? <laughs> I got this for Christmas actually, and it's. Such a firm plushie, actually. Like, this, the, the bulb part is, like, insanely hard, which is super cool. Um, which, and, and it's, like, really well made, so I'm, I'm happy about that. All right, we do not want to fight Pidgey. Ooh, graphical errors! Um, this is, this is a game with lots of those. So, uh, we'll come back and get Route 47 encounter later, just because I think we're running a little bit, uh, over time on this episode. Because uh, I do want to try to keep that same episode length as I did uh, as I did in Pokemon Moon. Um, so we're going to hash this egg. And that is going to be the last thing we do in this episode. So, Sigzagoon, what are you going to be? And then I'll have an actual dice in the next episode. Because this is annoying having to go back and forth between the digital. Alright. Roll. We're going to be in row 5. Number 4. Oh, we already did that one. That's literally the only egg we hashed in this box, and we get it again. Of course we did. All right, roll again. We're going to be in row four, column five. So, oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Wally, Dawnstone. Hmm. Wally the Pokemon. I think I have an idea what this might be, too. You guys are not being very clever with uh, disguising what your Pokemon's going to be. <laughs> if this is what I think it is. Um... Which, it'll be funny, but... Our third egg that we're hatching is... It's a Ralts. Yep. I, 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 like, I dig the name. I really do. But you guys are not very clever with dis disguising the name of the Mon. Uh, but that's perfectly okay. You don't have to do that at all. So, alright. We got Wally. Wally the Ralts was holding the Dawnstone. So, it looks like you want a Gallade. Um... Which we'll go ahead and do for the next episode. I'll go ahead and gen those in. So Wally's going to get level 2. And level 3, because that's what he was. Let's go ahead and check out Wally. Alright, Wally is the modest nature. With Icy Wind, Shockwave, Psychic, and Shadow Ball. Ooh. I actually think this moveset is legit. Um, I do believe it is. It might not be, though. But we're gonna, we're, we'll double check. Everything after the end of the episode. I have a lot of things to do post uh, post recording. So, um, I think that's going to be everything for today's episode. So we got useless the Magikarp, Thor the Elkid, and Wally the Ralts. So guys, uh, without further ado, that will be the end of today's episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are enjoy or if you guys are freaking excited, I'm not enjoying because we haven't had any new episodes yet. If you guys are freaking excited for this LP, and you cannot wait to see this move forward and maybe us getting more eggs in the future. Be sure to smash that like button down below to show your support for the very first episode of the series, as well as hit the subscribe button if you like the content that you're watching. Because you can be brought to my channel and watch a slew of other content as well as that or that is Pokemon related as well as other games and comedy related so if you're interested hit the subscribe button if you like the video hit the like button and without further ado guys I'll catch you in the next episode peace